Sagwa, as you know, tomorrow is your mother's birthday. Yes, I can't wait. And as a surprise for her, I've written this little operatic song. I want you to take it to Singbad for me. He'll sing it for her tomorrow evening. But Baba, why don't you sing it yourself? <laughs> oh, my sweet little Sagwa, you know your mother can't stand my singing. So please take this to Singbad for me. Your mother and I have some work to do for the magistrate, and if I go into the village, she will wonder where I am. It will ruin the surprise. You can count on me, Baba. I'll do it for you. Thank you. So, where does Singbad live? He lives in the bell tower of that big pagoda past the village. And I want you to hurry. You need to be back home before sunset. Don't worry, Papa. I'll deliver the scroll and be back before you know it. I can't wait to hear your opera. <laughs> Would you like to hear just a bit before you go? Hmm. All right. Here's the song. I'm Singban, sick by fun, Koyut King Oling Tun Jo Hei Sun, Light in Yayan, You Fai Hao Kawagin, Kyu Chai Dai Ayun. I must go. The master calls. But wait! to do when... Uh -oh. <gasps> Don't worry, Sagwa. I know where Singbad lives. Fufu, what are you doing here? I'll help you get to Singbad. I know right where it is. Don't worry. Fufu will be at your service. <laughs> Thanks, Fufu. My pleasure. We're going to have such an adventure making our way to Singbad's pagoda. Uh oh. Huh? My bats are calling me. Something must be up at home. I'll be back in a few minutes. And then we'll go to Singbad's house. Yes, such an adventure. I bet it's over the river. And there'll be storms, probably. And maybe we'll have to go over the mountains. Oh. But I want to make Baba proud of me. And I want Mama to have the best birthday ever. You can count on me, Baba. I'll do it for you. Where'd Fufu go? It's getting late. But I can't find Singbad's pagoda unless he... <laughs> hey, where have you been? <laughs> <sighs> the bats have decided to move to a new cave. They say there's better lucky feng shui higher up the hill. Oh, I can't go with you. But how will I get to sing bats without you? Not so hard, not so difficult. Really easy, in fact, if you know the way. I'll just give you the direction. Piece of moon cake. Take two turns to the right of the crossroads and double back through the rice paddy. Okay, the rice paddy? And then go over Puzzle Lock Bridge. And then take the straight road into the village. You'll be there at Singbad's Pagoda, no problem. Hey, call me if you need me. I got my sonar turned up. But wait! What's the combination to the lock on the bridge? Hmm. And turn right at the crossroads. And double back through the rice paddy. But here's the lake. Fufu did say turn right. Where's the rice paddy? Uh-oh. Maybe he meant turn left. Oh, good! That must be Puzzle Lock Bridge. Wow, this looks complicated. And I don't know the combination. <sighs> How am I gonna get across? you got here. My directions worked. <laughs> See, I told you. <sighs> I can't seem to find the new cave. What's the combination, Fufu? I can't get through the gates. Yeah, the combination, right. Uh, let me think. Oh, that's right. Simple, simple, simple. You just tickle the lion's tummy, rotate this little thing here until the lion smiles. Okay, now turn this other thing once or twice to the left or maybe it's to the right. Oh, I gotta go! I'm gonna be in the doghouse if I don't find that new cave! 
I'll see you at Singbad! Fufu said to the left. I'll try to the right. That was once. Here goes twice. No! It's locked itself again. It'll take forever to figure this out. I guess I could swim. Oh my gosh! The water is too cold! Too rough! I can never swim across that! Oh, it's no use. I can't do this. No, that is not an option. I've got to figure this out. Maybe there's another way to get across the river. Like that basket. It'll be just like a boat. Oh, too far out. If I just had a little bridge, I could get into it. Maybe if I bend these over, I can walk across them to the basket. Yuck! Oh, wet. Yes! Now I can float across the river. I'm going nowhere. Baba's opera. I'll never be able to learn that song by tomorrow night if the music doesn't get here. Fufu! I need you! <sighs> Sorry to leave you hanging. So, what are we going to do? Uh, let's see. Uh, just wiggle in through those spaces in the tiles up there. Then scoot up the stairs oh. to sing that's at it. Mission accomplished. Whoa. Maybe there's another way. Up we go! Sagwa, Jaijin, 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 my friend. Good luck. But I gotta keep moving <laughs> to the new cave, that is. Aha! Baba Meow's kitten. You're here. And just in time, too. I've got to get to work on this if I'm gonna sing it at your mother's birthday celebration tomorrow night. Now, let me see that scroll of your papa's. How can I work with this? There's no way I can read this. No way I can learn it. Hence, no way I can sing it. Your parents are going to be very disappointed. Um, wait! One minute! Please, I have another idea. My Baba sang it to me. I think I remember how it goes, sir. Orum sin bun, seek by fun, koyut wing o ling chan jow hey sun. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> what am I interrupting? I've ruined the scroll. I was trying to remember the opera, but I can't remember the ending. Hmm. Excuse me, but I was hanging around too, so I heard Mr. Meow sing the song. I can remember the next part. So, hit it, Sagwa! Um, sin bun, seek. By fun, koi ring o lin chan jiao hei san hoi ding yao yan yu fai hoi kao a ding yu chai dai yan. I think he's got it now. You did it, Sakwa. 
Thank you, Fufu, for all your help. You did your job. I just helped out a little. <laughs> now get home and fast. Jaijin, 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 my friend. This is a big moment for me, Sagwa. My first opera. And I could not have done it without your help. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Now I must go and introduce Singbad to our guests. My friends, tonight is a very special night for me. Not only is it the premiere of my first opera, but even more importantly, it is the joyous celebration of my dear wife's birthday. I have written this song for her. And to sing it to her, I give you the incomparable Singbad. Happy birthday, my dear sweet wife. Om Sin Ban Sik Bai Fun Oyo Kindo Lin Chan Chao He Sun Loi Kin Ya Yun Yu Fai Hoi Kawa Gin Gil Chai Da Yun Your chicks. I'm the mother and I won't let you catch them. Ha <laughs> ha! You'll never catch us! Oh, yeah? Here I come! Yeah! Shigwa, he's faking it. Are you all right, Dongwa? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh. Don't move. Shigwa, go get Mama, quick! I cook wrapped your paw. Ugh. Does it hurt? A little. It's just a little sprain. You'll be fine in no time. Now you get some rest. All right. Thanks, Mama. <gasps> I'm sorry. It's all my fault. What? If I hadn't moved out of the way, you wouldn't have crashed into the barrel. That's true. Can I do anything to make you feel better? Well, I am a little hungry. I think I saw Cook putting away some leftover shrimp last night. I'll be back before you know it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was delicious. Do you need anything else, Dongwa? Oh, just a good night's sleep. Thanks, Sogwa. I think I could get used to being waited on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, just in time. Here are ten more new rules. I was inspired. Ouch! <laughs> ten new rules? It will take a long time to read them all, but... As you wish, your magistrate. Hey, my paw doesn't hurt so much anymore. I should go tell everyone the good news. What am I saying? All this attention is great. Oh. By order of His Imperial Excellency, I hereby decree that his word shall become law and that the law of the land in it forbids anyone to build a campfire in the woods, 
The trees are as dry as kindling at this time. Or can you fish in the magistrate's pond? Good morning, Dongwa. I brought you a ball to play with. So, how's the paw today? Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong? Oh, I feel so bad that I won't be able to clean the clubhouse with you like we promised Mama. Don't worry. I'll do it by myself. No, I couldn't ask you to do that. It's no problem at all. Really? I just want you to rest and get better. Well, all right, if you insist. <laughs> there you are. Well, how did it go? Were the villagers captivated by the new rules? It went well, but there were a lot of rules. Yes, and there are a lot more where they came from. I had another five rules written up while you were gone. Oh, my beautiful robe! I need to wear this robe today for my audience with the visiting dignitary. It must be cleaned immediately. <sighs> I would be happy to clean the robe for you, your magistrate. the most incredible news! <laughs> a ship is docking at the pier today. It's supposed to be incredible. You want to come? Wow, that sounds like fun! Oh. What's wrong? Dongwa won't be able to go see the ship because of his paw. What happened to his paw? It's a long story, but it was my fault. Hey, maybe telling him about the ship will cheer him up. Come on! Dongwa looked just fine to me. Uh, are you sure he hurt his paw? I can't believe he's been pretending to be hurt. And he's been making me do all this stuff for him. He needs to be taught a lesson. <laughs> to see the ship this afternoon. I know. It's probably going to be the most exciting thing ever. Did you two say something about a ship? Oh, yeah. A grand ship is docking at the pier today. It's supposed to be really big, colorful, and magnificent. Wow! You wanted to see me, Sagwa? Mama! Mama! Can we go see the ship? Dongwa, your paw. It's better. Oh! Uh, ow! Ouch! Ow. Dongwa, are you pretending? No, my paw did hurt. Well, at first, but when I woke up, it didn't hurt so much anymore. It wasn't nice the way you took advantage of everyone's concern for you, especially Sogwa's. Yeah. Well, Dongwa, you will just have to gather the banana leaves by yourself. <gasps> Sogwa, you're excused from that chore. But it'll take forever. Can I do it after I see the ship? No, you will gather all the leaves before you do anything else. Ah, <laughs> ah just in time. Oh, no! 
It must be repaired. It was a gift from the dignitary who's visiting today. Oh. Cat do all this work just isn't fair. Maybe it wasn't fair of me to make Sagwa clean the whole clubhouse by herself either. I guess that was pretty rotten of me. It sure was. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> ah, you finished it. Did you fill the pot with boiling water? Yes. Good. Sit down. Now, put your feet up and have a cup of tea with me. Pardon me? I know you've been working very hard for me lately, and I want you to know that I appreciate it. Ah, that must be the dignitary now. <gasps> what would I do without you? Come on! I said I was sorry. I shouldn't have pretended I was still hurt, okay? Yeah. It wasn't nice, Dongwa. But I'll forgive you. This time. So, we're going to see the ship. You want to come? I can't. I still have to finish stacking the leaves. Okay, then. Bye. Let's go, Fufu. Yeah, we'll help you. That'd be great. Then I'll ask Mama and Bob if I can go. It's so amazing. Look, Sagwa, I really want to thank you. I wouldn't have been able to come see the ship without you. That's true. So if there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. Well, I didn't have time to finish cleaning the clubhouse. We can both do it tomorrow like we were supposed to. What? Well, I guess I deserve that. Yeah. You got that right. Okay, okay. You don't have to rub it in.